Don't let its dazzling colors fool you. Deep in the damp heart of the rainforest where human laws hold no power, creatures have evolved into ruthless survivors. They show no mercy, no hesitation, and no chance for the weak. This film will take you into nature's darkest corners. Six deadly rulers await the Lonomia obliqua caterpillar, whose venom can kill a person with just one touch. The Asian giant hornet, an armored warrior of the skies. The praying mantis, a stealth assassin striking with lightning speed. The Brazilian wandering spider, a phantom of fear that can appear even in busy cities and the army ants war architects building bridges from their own bodies. Stay calm. Keep your eyes wide open. What you're about to see is beautiful, brutal, and absolutely real. Before we begin, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know where you're watching from in the comments. It looks like nothing more than a soft strip of green and brown velvet. But Lonomia obliqua is a biological landmine, perfectly disguised. The rows of tiny needle-like spines on its back hold one of the deadliest venoms in the animal kingdom. A single brush resting your hand on a tree trunk, grazing a low-hanging branch, is all it takes for the toxin to enter your skin. The pain you feel at first is only a warning. Soon, bruises bloom, rapidly gums, and nose begin to bleed without injury, and the venom wreaks havoc on your blood. It scrambles your clotting system, making you bleed uncontrollably while creating deadly clots in places they don't belong. Without immediate treatment and access to a specialized anti-venom, your heart, kidneys, and liver can fail one by one. The most chilling part, Lonomia doesn't hunt. It's a passive killer sitting perfectly still, blending into tree bark, waiting for you to make the fatal mistake. In South American rainforests during the wet season, they gather beneath damp leaves forming invisible biological mines. What sound like myths are well-documented medical cases, each one a stark reminder in the jungle. Carelessness is a tax you pay with your body. If you ever venture into their territory, remember three things. Sharp eyes, protected hands, and never lean on anything. One innocent touch could be the line between a casual hike and a death sentence. Picture a warrior nearly six centimeters long with blade-like wings, an armored body and jaws, strong enough to decapitate prey in seconds. The Asian giant hornet, often nicknamed the murder hornet, isn't a myth. It's a living nightmare. Its stinger is like a hypodermic needle, injecting a potent neurotoxin that dissolves soft tissue and spreads a searing pain through the body. What makes this hornet truly terrifying isn't just its size or venom, but its strategy. A small squad of just a few dozen can wipe out a honeybee colony of 30,000 in hours, leaving behind nothing but heads and corpses. When they leave, they carry off bee larvae, a perfectly packaged protein source for their young. But nature, ever resourceful, has written a stunning countermeasure. In rural Japan, native honeybees have learned to cook invaders alive. When a hornet enters their hive, they swarm it, forming a living ball, and vibrate their bodies until the internal temperature climbs to 46 degrees, 140 stagrathas, a lethal threshold for the hornet, but survivable for the bees. It's a rare moment where unity overcomes brute force. For humans, the survival lesson is simple. Keep your distance, don't provoke them, and never try to destroy a nest on your own. In a world ruled by speed and chemistry, staying calm might just save your life. Slender still, 
and poised with its praying forelegs, the praying mantis is a master of timing. Its head can swivel nearly 180 degrees, and each compound eye is a matrix of thousands of tiny lenses, allowing it to detect the slightest movement, even in low light. Before striking, the mantis sways gently mimicking a leaf in the breeze, a perfect psychological trick. Then, in a flash, its spiny forelegs snap shut like steel traps locking prey in a deadly grip in mere milliseconds. Most of its meals are insects, but some species have been observed taking down small lizards and even hummingbirds, a shocking display of its ability to fight well above its weight class. Yet the mantis's most unsettling trait lies in its mating instincts. In some cases, the female begins to eat the male during mating, often starting with his head. Brutal as it seems, this act is pure biology, a sacrifice that fuels the next generation. Not every nightmare begins deep in the jungle. The Brazilian wandering spider, often dubbed the world's deadliest spider, once turned an ordinary market into a scene of terror. A young worker reached for a bunch of bananas. The bite came like lightning. Pain surged instantly. Sweat soaked his skin, and goosebumps raced down his arms. The venom spread faster than panic, chest pain, dizziness, vomiting, and a chilling side effect. Priapism, a prolonged and painful erection. He survived only thanks to anti-venom, and his case became a landmark in toxicology and even pharmaceutical research. Unlike web-dwelling spiders, this predator hunts on foot, roaming and striking with precision. Its long, agile legs and potent neurotoxin make it a threat far larger than its body size suggests. For humans, confrontation is never wise. Survival rules are simple. Don't reach into dark spaces, never corner it. Stay calm and seek medical help immediately. In a world where the jungle and civilization are separated by nothing more than a crate of fruit caution is the best shield. they march like an army. When they encounter a gap, tangled roots, or a narrow stream, the colony builds a living bridge from their own bodies. Each ant locks its mandibles into another, stretching itself to the limit, carrying the weight of its comrades above. The bridge breathes, trembles, and moves because it is alive. Once the swarm has crossed, the formation dissolves as if it never existed. The terror of army ants doesn't lie in one individual, but in the collective hundreds of thousands of soldiers moving as a single organism. Small creatures are swept away like dust in a storm, while larger animals flee the relentless tide of jaws that never tires. We owe nature our respect. Without bees, pollination collapses. Without ants, the flow of organic matter stalls. Without spiders, insect populations explode. Brutality is only a human perspective on a system perfected for survival. When you learn the language of the forest, the smell of damp soil, the silence before a storm, you realize survival isn't about conquering nature. It's about adapting to fit within its rules. There is still so much to learn from creatures that have walked this earth for millions of years. If this documentary moved, you made you think, or gave you a new perspective on the world of insects, hit that like button. It's a small gesture, but it means the world to this channel. 
The journey is far from over. The forest holds more mysteries. Join us in the next episode, where darker, wilder stories await, and where we continue learning how to survive wisely in a world that doesn't forgive mistakes. Thank you for watching.